Hello. It is the evening of September 18th. Today is Monday. This is titled Finding Our Niche. Both my happiness and my usefulness depend on finding my niche in God's plan and staying in it. Everything in God's kingdom has a niche, even the stars. The stars and their courses fought against Sisera. What? I wonder how. I don't get it. But I'm sure it, ha it did happen. Judges 5.20, because it's in the Bible. So God sees stuff that we don't. And when we go there, we're going to find out everything. But we're, we're going to be so excited to see Jesus. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be good. Okay. I must find my niche also. God promises me power and strength only up to my niche. Never beyond. If I exceed my niche, I'm on my own. Too often exhaustion comes when I've gone beyond God's plan. Driven perhaps by ambition or pride. It is not hard to find God's niche, but it is hard to stay inside its limits. We fall either above or below. Paul says, love does not seek its own way, from 1 Corinthians 13, 5. That's often my trouble, seeking more than God has promised, which leads to all sorts of problems. Or sometimes I underachieve God's will, and that leads to slippage, which forces other people to bear more than they should. Each part of my body has a function. But if one part fails, the whole body is placed under economic constraint to compensate for the failure of one unit. Yep. If I am to stay in my niche, I must possess two abilities. The ability to see the limits of my niche so that I do not exceed them, and the ability to be utterly obedient and submissive to the God who has made my niche for me. To listen to sell for others rather than God is to form the beginning of dissatisfaction with my lot, which is the first sign of rebellion. I must remember Moses' blessing on Benjamin. He is the beloved of the Lord and dwells by his side securely. That's from Deuteronomy 33, 12. That's the secret, staying by his side. To remain there as his beloved is to stay where I am placed, to want no other for his sake. And the verse of the day, of the night, is Jeremiah 42, 6. Whether it's pleasant or unpleasant, we will listen to the voice of the Lord our God, to whom we are sending you, in order that it may go well with us when we listen to the voice of the Lord our God. People, I care about my own eternity. I'm very selfish. That's why I believe God makes sense to me. Everything he says makes sense. I see it in my life. I see I'm able to learn through other people's lives. I see it in other people's lives. This whole Christianity thing is the one that makes the most sense to me. I don't like it, but from what I hear in the Bible and read in the Bible to what I see around me, it gives a reason for everything. So if you value yourself, and that's what you need to value yourself, value yourself and you will come to the conclusion that Christianity is true. It has all the answers. And um, another thought as I was reading this, like our niche, like, well, what if people think that, you know, why would God, you know, just say you have just this niche, but God made you for a purpose and every purpose has a time and a place. That time and place is your niche. So you were made for a great purpose. Know that you have great purpose. So God has made you for this time and purpose. This is your niche, your whole life. It's your niche. And then God focuses you to different areas during that time. That might help you see your value. So, Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Please help us rest well and be ready for the challenges and blessings that will come upon us tomorrow. Help us to submit to you and to know that um, you love us and that our niche is made for a great purpose, purpose and to not doubt you or what you can do through us. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen.